you guys doing? Sam and I are doing something exciting today. I'm so ready. I don't know if I'm dressed appropriately. Abram, are you gonna hang out with Bebo today? Yes. Are you excited? With mommy. Oh. Dinner's in the crock pot, ready for when we come home from our adventure. Here we go guys. We're I up. decided to turn our uh, Honda Pilot into a uh, 18 wheel. Listen to this. <laughs> Mandatory location. This is kind of just a random location I picked on the way over here. I like it because there's a lot of dead trees out there. I hope it's not too windy though. Pretty wavy. I'm a little nervous about this. Let's try out the seat here. Okay. Oh, it's like a seesaw. We probably shouldn't take this out there. Um, and one dumb thing we didn't do is bring an extra change of clothes. I don't know what we were thinking. I am terrified that he's gonna dump me in the water. I'm not. She thinks I'm gonna do it for a good video. I'm not that desperate. No way. Plus, it's free. It's not freezing out here. The weather feels great, but it's going to be freezing water. But we'll be leaving this in the car and vlogging with my waterproof GoPro. So we'll see you guys out there. Well, it's floating. <laughs> I don't see any leaks yet. Oh. Wait, wait a minute. No, no, no leak. All right, my lady. <laughs> oh my gosh. Do it with the There you go. Sit down, sit down. Okay. Okay, I will. Okay, I'm holding on with both my hands. Take a little break, maybe eat lunch on the rocks. Oh, you do? Okay. In the sun? Yeah. Let's just go park by one of the trees. Yeah. Let's go through here. Okay. Can you make it, you think? Yeah. We found a parking spot. Perfect. We're just lining up there, not going anywhere. I could probably walk over to you if you let me. lunch with you. you sit on that yeah, this is our this is our table. <laughs> Guys this is just incredible. I have been craving adventure for a long time and this is just kind of getting it getting it out of my system. Oh thank goodness. <laughs> I just crave this type of stuff like danger and risk. Thank you for coming out with me. You're welcome. My pregnant wife isn't she awesome? I was telling you, I wouldn't even be scared if it wasn't cold out here. I'm only scared of getting in the cold water. If it was hot water or if it was hot outside and then get in the water, that'd be fine. I would be like wanting to swim on our lunch break. I like swimming. I grew up near that lakes and ponds and swamps and all that. I've swam and tanked before. Get that out of our way. Hope a crocodile pumped down the water.
getting nervous. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Wait, where's our paddles? Oh, shoot. We lost both of them. Oh, man. Wow, I'm glad I brought an extra paddle. Good job, Kitty. Good job. Huh? I can't jump back in that water, kid. Well, I don't want you to go in. Thank you. I actually took a little sacrifice for you that time. Thank you. <laughs> we made it! <laughs> just to clear the air right now guys i feel extremely bad about that bringing my pregnant wife out there in the cold i'm just so thankful to god that he protected us and that we were close to something like an old bridge in the middle of a lake thank goodness we still have a lot of clothes in the back that we were going to go donate that we haven't dropped off yet Nia's getting changed in the car and well I guess I asked for adventure and I got adventure. <laughs> oh man. Just texting her mom, warning her before we get home that we capsized. She's not upset though. Wow. Capsized. <laughs>
Guys, it was so funny. Oh, I really, like, guys, like, I was terrified. I was like, oh, my gosh. Yeah, Nia thought she was going to die. Hurts. I didn't know what thing I was going to die. I just the way I was looking, I was like, sweet. whoa, Nia's, like, really freaking out. Is she okay? <laughs> I thought maybe she was just, like, like going to lose it for a minute. <laughs> well, I felt like my body hurt, so I couldn't swim. But then I was like, oh, I'm fine. It was funny. I had, like, a moment where I was like, I'm fine. Why am yeah. I freaking out? Yeah, so you much? started breathing better than I did towards the end. I was like, wow, she's suddenly very calm. <laughs> She was freaking out like crazy, and then suddenly she was like, oh. And then she like turns around and starts helping me pull the boat in. It was really cute. <laughs> it was so funny. I freaked out. It was funny because I got mad at Sam, and I was like freaking out, and I felt mad at Sam for letting it happen. You did? Yes. And then I was you like, there's really no point being mad at him. I can't just sit here in the water and yell at him. I might as well help him get to the, get to the bridge. The water was freezing, but once we got out of the water, the sun was out, so it felt really, actually kind of nice it actually after we got out of the good. water. Cause we, I think because we panicked so much, like it felt like refreshing when I got out of the water. Yeah, like, that's definitely part of it. We panicked and it like warmed up our body. We went into uh, survival mode. Survival mode, yeah. Can we get a regular size strawberry milkshake, please? We are here, we are here, we are here. That's my line. I know it is. Yeah, I took it from you. We made it home, guys, and I what? Know and I know wow! I did. I didn't know how much I love my house. Okay, I really didn't realize it until I fell out of a canoe. All right, sis, how was school? Tell us all about it, and then we'll tell you all about our canoe trip. Tell me about it. Kitty is a plastic. Mommy just came me. Yikes! Did it drown? Did what drown? Did the canoe drown? No, the canoe tipped over. <laughs> Symphony always comes home from school a little bit, you know, loopy, like she missed her rest time and nap time. No, I know like, what oh, it is. What is it? She's at school she has to concentrate all day long. I used to be the same way. I just sit in school, concentrate, stay focused, and after school, I would go crazy. <laughs> I totally feel you, honey. I really do. It's all the concentration, obeying, or not obeying, but, you know, taking commands from everybody, and then coming home, and then just letting it all go, and be like, <laughs> <laughs> Mikey, are you ready? Abram, what did you get from Bebo? We said. What kind of whistled? Tissue whistled. Can you show us how it works? How does it work? <laughs> Your batteries right there. No, it doesn't take batteries. <laughs> <laughs> you just blow in it, man. It's a train whistle. How it works? <laughs> yeah, show me how it works. Oh, he's confusing works with batteries. <laughs> that one, you want me to try? My turn! My turn! <laughs> no, my turn. No. Don't talk. <laughs> oh, oh, All right, buddy, take a turn. <laughs> Mommy would try to. <laughs> I feel like Nia's giving me the cold shoulder. I don't know. <laughs> kind of giving me cold feet, you know? Dump me in the water. Giving me cold feet. It's called getting cold feet on your wedding day. Getting me cold feet. <laughs> I'm not giving you cold feet. Do, 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 Samuel. Come on. <laughs> when the moment happened, her falling in the water, <laughs> I thought that it was her dumping us over. It was really strange because the way I saw it all, I guess I was just like freaking out in my head. I want to add to that. Okay, add to it. I haven't added to it all day. I've been kind of waiting for us to sit down and talk about it. All right. So the whole time today, Sam kept saying stuff like, you really can't keep up with me. You don't know how to steer, da, da, da. He wasn't saying it rudely. I don't want to make it sound bad. But we just kind of had this little inside thing like, you got to get it together, babe. Come on, we got to turn this thing around. And now I feel like it was him. Maybe I was doing a good job steering all day. <laughs> And you were lagging. Well, in the video, you can see, you know, that we were both going the opposite direction than where we were trying to go. Yeah. But we were not doing so great at that Yeah, moment. I was definitely at fault, obviously. <laughs> oh my gosh, I've seen the video so many times of her falling out of the boat, and I'm just, I laugh hysterically <laughs> every single time. It's so crazy. I have a confession to make. I literally, like, peed my pants when I watched it the first three it. times. Three times in a row. And I'm pregnant, so that gives me a good excuse, but... Oh, man. It was hilarious. You ran out of the room. I really did. I was like, oh, my gosh. Anyway. Anyways, we got to learn how to steer. <laughs> we'll see you guys tomorrow. Wait, what you got to do? Comment of the day. Oh, yeah, we do. It comes from Emily McHugh, and she said, you should name the boat Tanzania. And I thought that was cute because, A, that was Sam's nickname for me when we first it started was. dating in high school. Do you remember what you called me? Yeah, Samaria. 
Uh, Somalia and Tanzania, two yeah. countries. Yeah. I think two countries. I was thinking we could actually name the boat Screaming Kenia. Instead of just Kenia now, Screaming Kenia. Kenia. Do you guys get it? Screaming Kenia. Anyways, guys, <laughs> we'll on. see you tomorrow. Come on. I have a doctor's appointment. We get yeah. to see baby girl again. And tomorrow you're going to give clues. Don't forget, we love you. And remember to love each other.